for our sin and pay that sin debt for us that we could not pay. And you know, God will not accept. There is no name given among men. The Bible said, whereby we must be saved. There's no name given among men whereby we must be saved except through and by the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He's the only one that can save your soul tonight. There ain't no church can save you. There ain't no preacher can save you. There ain't no religion out there or denomination or any nature of that fact can save you. It takes the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible said we're begotten by the word, drawn by his spirit, my friend. And that's how we get saved. When the word of God is preached, it convicts us of our sin. We see that we're guilty before God. And then we fall on our face and humble our heart down before God and say, God, be merciful to me sinner and God will when we do that my friend he looks on the heart he don't look at the outward parents he looks on the heart and he will forgive you of your sins and cleanse you and make you whole he's already shed the blood then he applies that blood to your soul my friend he makes a new creature out of you and not only that he puts his spirit within you to lead and guide you without excuse not to be saved today uh, yes if any man serve me let him follow me and where I am there also shall my servants be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. I tell you, praise God, I love to serve him. <laughs> I love to do something for the Lord. I love to do something for God. And you know, if it's a, uh, if it's a singing in the choir, if it's a preaching the gospel, or, or if it's just working on a church building, or whatever it might be, brother, I want to be a doing something. If it's out here witnessing for God to try to get others to come to God's house and be saved, I want to be out there doing that. Uh, it's all for the glory of God. It's all for lifting Jesus up, my friend. If we don't die out to sin, we can't glorify him. We can't honor him. We can't bear any fruit if we don't die out to sin and take up that new man which is Christ Jesus living in us. Brother, we can't do nothing for God. Uh, we can't honor God in no way. And God can't get glory out of our life. Praise God, we need to be on par for him today. We need to be working for the Lord. He said, now, look here what Jesus said, now is my soul troubled. You know, what and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But, he said, but for this cause came I unto this hour. I tell you what, uh, there's a lot of people, you know, they don't want to, they don't want to suffer for the cause of Christ. You know, Jesus did, the, they didn't want to lay, they don't want to lay down their life, Brother Kenny, or for the cause of Christ. But I tell you, if there's anything that we would lay down our life, it would be for the glory of God. Hallelujah. I, I told Brother Kenny before when I called him, I said, hey, I hate to call you, the, you know, at the last minute, I call these fellows to come uh, sing, but I said, buddy, I tell you, I said, when we do something for God, I love to be used for the glory of God. I, love, I mean, you can call me at the 11th hour if you want to. Uh, but if it's for the glory of God, if it's to see a lost soul saved, praise God, I'll be there to help you. Hallelujah. Uh, to see a lost soul saved, brother, uh, we ought to be willing to sacrifice. And we ought to be willing to lay down our life. Uh, we ought to be willing to give our time uh, for the glory of Christ. for this cause I came unto this hour. Uh, Jesus was in the flesh. He was like you and I. He dreaded death, but uh, he was willing, my friend, to lay down his uh, life. You know, he, he didn't look at the at the, at the things that uh, the Bible said he didn't look at the present. He looked at the things that were set before him. Uh, brother, he looked ahead. Brother, for you and I, Kenny, uh, realizing one of these days we was going to need a Savior if we was going to be born into this world. Uh, brother, one of these days we need a friend, my friend. A one that will stick closer than a brother. Hallelujah. I'm glad that Jesus laid down his life so that I could have life. So that I could have a home in heaven. I praise God. I can shout today because my name's written in glory. Hallelujah. Praise God tonight. Yes. And he said, Father, glorify thy name. And the Bible said, there came a voice from heaven saying, I have hope glorified it. And we'll glorify it again. Hallelujah. I'm going to honor it again. Hey, you know, God is glorified in Jesus Christ. And the work that he did at Calvary, that work, he finished it. 
He finished the work of salvation at Calvary. He paid the price. He shed his blood to take away the sin of the world. He sent his spirit into the world, my friend, after he rose from the dead. He said, I'm going to send you another comforter that abide with you forever. Hallelujah. But he sent that comforter on the day of Pentecost. It came into the hearts of believers there. On the day of Pentecost, they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And, and brother, and the Bible said they stood up. Peter preached boldly in the Spirit of God and told them what they must do. He said, repent uh, for, uh, you know, repent uh, for the remission of sin, for the forgiveness of sin. But that's what God wants us to do today. He wants us to repent of our sin. He wants us to ask forgiveness for our sin. Then it said, uh, and, there, and, and the people there for I heard it and said that it thundered, and the other said, An angel spake to him. And Jesus answered and said, The voice came not because of me, but for your sakes. 